This is KPIX TV Joel 5, San Francisco, and it is time now for the Hourness News 6 p.m. report. Monday, June 5th, 1932. Here now, Ron Majors. Good evening, everybody. I'm Ron Majors and here's what's happening on Hourness News 6 p.m. report on this Monday, June 5th, 1932. I'll stop with government effort to open in Los Angeles today at Mayor Sam Yodi asked his bachelor to fill its support to Senator Hubert H. Humphrey to attempt to halt the bandwagon for Senator George McGovern. Yori, one of eight Democrats listed on the primary ballot, and then he had decided to ask any Democratic supporters to cast their votes tomorrow for Senator Hubert H. Humphrey. The mayor issued a statement saying, one Democratic Party is fronted with suicidal declaration by Senator George McCover, lavishly fed its campaign by deception and democracy. He called Humphrey a realistic, loyal American that it appears to be the only candidate for a position to be prevented radically. Money can Coward, McGovern juggled out from taking Kendall 40 by storm before the voters wake up to what is happening to them. Incidentally, a recent poll conducted by California Senator John V. Teddy indicated that Yodi is the only one that the state's mayor. <laughs> Other major political figures were <coughs> endorsement would have a negative effect. Yodi said McGovern set out to capture the radical left that he has. Now is, is there captain? He also called on supporters of Governor George Wallace to give up their white end campaign and switch to like this of Humphrey to help us prevent radicalization of the Democratic Party of California. He already read the statement into a news conference in Los Angeles and said the statement had spoken for itself when he was asked if he was withdrawn for the presidential race. Meanwhile, the Humphrey Company and the Humphrey McGovern battle knocked down to a disagreement by two of one of the best ways to get the U.S. prisoners released by North Vietnam and with Humphrey jumping in the space, shuttle is a major base issue on the this last day before the California election. In East Bay, the Democratic presidential battle is expected to bring high voter turnout tomorrow. In both Contra Costa and Alameda, recent numbers of the Democratic FC belt to get a high turnout for the Turnouts tomorrow in both Contra Costa and Alameda records the number of Democratic FCT ballots dedicated to high turnout for the election. Polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. A hot race in the 8th Congressional District where Walnut Creek Baker Porty H. Dunk is leading the race with the uh, 5. Others attempted to succeed. Federal Representative George P. Billows dragged down voter. Informal is a 9 man race for the Albany County Board of Supervisors based in Oakland. A free for all battle of the 10th Assembly District handled by retired Assemblyman James Deal for public conquered at all the major country cost of county race. Humphrey went to the North American Rockwell side of the projected space shuttle project in Los Angeles to tell airspace workers he had voted for the project and that McGovern had done He is recorded against your jobs and your families. Humphrey told workers where. On a POW question, Humphrey wants President Nixon to spend the special administration to Hawaii where McGovern said. Windsor, England. Britain's royal family mourned the Duke of Windsor today at a funeral service in Windsor Castle where Queen Elizabeth II sitting next to him did just with a woman for whom he had given a British phone. That's service for the late <coughs> late King Edward VIII under scored the final reclusation of the royal family controversy over the King Thomas the particular uh, one of the boss, when a burial service was concluded, American born widow left a million for the airport to return to her Paris home as a favor and emphasized that their relations with the King's family remained in more than formal. About one of the officials and family mourners joined the burial party in St. George's Chapel on the grounds of Windsor Castle. That much very nearly the eight, a number of British monarchs are buried in this chapel. Among leading officials at the ceremony were Prince Minister, Heir to Chief Prime Minister, Opposition Leader Harold Wilson, and the Earl of Avon, who was Anthony Eden, was foreign in secretary at the time of that abdication. 200 other guests were kneeling, seated in the nave of the chapel. Attendance uh, was by invitation only. The Queen sat facing in the Cadillac where the coffin lay under the Duke's personal standard and a shelf of white lilies. At her seat. <laughs> On the anniversary today of the last Arab Israeli war, they possibly with a new conflict in stronger than say time since the Arab disaster in 1947. The anniversary finds from 1967 the diplomatic search for a settlement in the settlement with the Israeli entrenched and occupied Arab territory, especially in the East Bank of the Suez Canal. The Egyptians frustrated and angry and embarrassed by their impotence. 
He also was a sentence in Egypt for the chief editor of the newspaper El Asbar wrote. Where is the family that is not left to son on the hot desert sin or is not dispatched? Well, another should have discharged the national date. A question bowl to Egypt came a year ago when the Egypt is had strong hopes. Washington would favor its <coughs> cause against the victorious Israel. Secretary of State William B. Rogers, after a visit to Cairo, supported Egyptian President Ed Wasserat's proposal to reopen the canal and exchange for a substantial pullback for an eventual withdrawal from all occupied territory. The Israelis rejected the proposal, but reduced it to give up their chief bargaining point. They would force the occupation success even there. Condition of the Pakistan former Egyptian said the Arabs were fierce at the Americans that said most of them regarded the United States as their main reason that Israel is so formidable and unable to maintain its democratic stance. Although the Egyptians agreed they would prefer a peaceful solution in another war, they revolt at the father of making a peace with a country to be occupied by the Israelis. President Sadat Ripoli has refused to negotiate with his Israelis as long as his. Territory talk about he holds that it's such a talks of matter that succeeded in spite of it and treated US Undersecretary of the State Joseph J. Sisko, the dead prominent expert on the Middle East, last Friday said again that there's surely the time has come for negotiations. And now is their comment. In San Rafael, an obviously disruptive prosecutor, the Angela Davis trial said today we are still off field what the evidence for the conviction, but the jury apparently never got the pay. LBW Harris Jude, who slipped quietly and went out the covenant from the set to Clara County. Courthouse B. Lim filed it yesterday. He's acquitted. Spoke to the tribunal. I would have sued for me. Ben Williams at his work. Catspare is a difficult crowd to prove. He said, You can't take a picture to the bottom of the jurors, but we feel we still have a strong case. Harris is his age. Attorney General was named special prosecutor of the exception of the case rising from the Marin County Civic Center shooting kidnapping on August 7, 1970. For 22 months, he literally lived in Angela Davis' case, and he was a considered a primary nemesis for the here out of considered tech from the Miss Davis' supporters, built and leftist groups and companies around the world. I always said Angela Davis obviously was an influencing factor among the jury, as were the racial overtones when constantly injected into the proceedings by the defense team during the 14 weeks of trial. Juries in this kind of cases today apparently feel that they can't find any more guilty unless the cases that Rodney Kennedy said. <laughs> Here's the gate that the prosecution was separated and presented in evidence, but declared it especially how or why. We certainly don't want to sell grapes in the verdict, he said, he did. but possibly if it could have been a different if we could have had a full shot at it. Here's said he was less than notified with his rebuttal of the brilliant and highly occupation final argument by co defense attorney Leo Bunbin Jr. But he said we wanted to get it over with they put it in the jury's hands. He had his assistant Clifford Tops that began to set city. They were losing it in case Harrison recalled when the twelve jurors who were been copious note takers dreaded his over the argument in for the trial. Stop scribbling during this close the statements. Juror Stephanie Ryan, twenty two, the most famous note taker, was considered by all court observers as the hawk of the jury. As our learned that the take was with the jurors for a candidate earlier, the deliberation went the many from the panel to appear last night as Mr. Jervis' victory. For Miss Davis' celebration, where she danced with President to the debate of an air for combo. Hans was without further comments, was sitting with the call press conference with a brief statement then on Wednesday. San Jose, California, Angel Y. Davis, University Scholar, Black Milton Leader, and the member of the Communist Party who contended she could never get a fair trial in Santa Clara County or virtually anywhere else who was racist wall. America was acquitted yesterday of all three cats of murder, kidnapping, and conspiracy. The veteran came after 13 hours of deliberation by the seven women, five men, jury. The jurors apparently had little disagreement from the outset that the state had failed to prove its charges. As court clerk Arthur Vance reviewed the jury's decision at 12.30 p.m., which he read, Pan Moran and Uncontrolled Sovereign resigned from the small 70 seat courtroom packed with Davis family, defense committee workers, and supporters. And Miss Davis cupped her hands to the face and her shoulders shook as the tension of the past 22 months flowed from her body in a spasm of. Sobs and tearful laughter. Then she widely embraced her childhood friend and defense attorney, Margaret Burham, and Kendra Alexander, who was the co chairman of the United National Committee in Free, Angela Davis. Beyond her, her mother, father, and two brothers and sister who had been sitting feebly with her hands under the clothes, tearfully hugged each other. They 
was stretching arms of Miss Davis, a totally free woman whose first move after the verdict was walked from the behind of the courtroom raising in her family. Tears streamed from the faces of several women and jurors as an emotional reaction to their decision surged out the courtroom. Miss Davis theory of her defense attorneys Lee Branson, Howard Moore Jr. and Doris B. Walker twisted and turned into ruptures organizations. <laughs> and the prosecution table, as the state attorney General Albert Harris Jr. and his Assistant Clifford Thompson slept in her chairs. Both letters stopped quickly from the court way back to their San Jose motel rooms. Ran into the road fogs of Miss Davis's excited supporters gathered outside the gates of the courthouse complex. Judge Richard Thompson tried to control the near hysterical outbreak of Miss Davis's faithful followers. That Manic read the three separate verdicts of not guilty issued by jury forward Mrs. Mary Timothy. As it ripped for order and to the issue of contempt of citations and spectators, they did acquire that. If some of the more volatile cheers by the tent, the little effect to the well, stops that a jury prevented the courtroom. After the jury ordered Miss Davis to charge to the one of the other on bail, exonerated the jury, which has been the objective bitter complaints by the defense team, because it included no blackface, was given a dangerous applause by the courtroom spectators. What beautiful people, Miss Davis said. Is her sister, Faith Davis, short to declare the two streams in our face. The climax began building the 32 week old trial to determine that 20 year old Miss Davis was guilty of conspiracy in the 1970 Marin County kidnapping and shooting that took the lives of four persons, including Supreme Court Judge Harold Healy. Sounds like whip. African rock music pounded in the jurors who acquitted Angela Davis during the black military and her attorneys in a festive celebration following the verdict. All but three of the all white jury members showed up. In a past verdict party yesterday, and one of them, Miss Diaz, had gone out and attended a public celebration inside. We had a great time, one said. Miss Davis' attorney said, shot up with the governor and an invited friend's home. Miss Davis said the jury with grieved and warmly. Defense attorney Howard Mara Jr., who had once had declared Miss Davis could not get a fair jury and productively. Wildly sending those aid, Ray veiled that the defense team employed psychology of her handwriting analyst to help select the jury. During the two weeks of jury selection, the board said a battery of psychologists said in the court women analyzed into the answers and facial and physical guidance of the potential jurors that advised the defense what to do with the handwriting analyst. They said, cited the signature of jurors on the voter registration application, which made them eligible for jury duty. The jurors did not tell out the party with the young member of the panel. Twenty-year-old Michael Savage, Secretary Wa the Walker, and eighty-five-year-old Richard Dorsman, and the oldest member of the jury, Robert Spottle, sixty-nine, who inadvertently <coughs> ended up at the public place. Should tell place there. Tacoma, Washington, a witness described by San Francisco Mayor Joseph Elliott of having hatred and venom for John J. O'Connell, expected to testify in the wake of the robbery cut. Especially trial for the two. Men and a former associate, the prosecution governor said it will call Paul Dole, the Tacoma City Attorney, who was the assistant city attorney at the time of the electrical contract suits, which gave the rip. Wrote to the charges against the three defendants. I ordered that the pro-resident attorney of the prominent antitrust attorney split $800,000 of $2.3 billion on three for the cases between O'Connell and George K. Failer. O'Connell was Washington Attorney General and Dave Failer, special assistant. The three attorneys stated it was a shared fee and a shared work with the government is trying to prove it was a bad paid because O'Connell lifted a to one million dollar ceiling fee on Alliot Four. In his open address, the three, three weeks ago, San Francisco Mayor described Dolan as one of the <coughs> reluctant threat. Because the bug watched the cities and public utility districts who said he would drag their feet out <coughs> long enough in using equipment firms which had overcharged them. Referring to one meeting at which um, the local officials wanted to settle for a relatively small, Manzi said it was the first time I had met Nolan realized how much hatred and random for he had for John O'Connell he did not celebrate. Nolan is scheduled to be called for after Gordon Crandall at Sisset Seattle Corporation Council concluded his tenant this morning, possibly today. Crandall previously spent five days in the sand. Attorneys have gave Christian and Nolan for lengthy. Bill of Rights workers at the University of California kept us voted continuing their withdrawal labor and informal. <laughs> Pictane found a meeting this one in Oakland. After the vote at Alameda County Labor Council Headquarters, Labor Attorney Victor Vance Borg accused university officials of having 
in bad faith in sending a representative to a negotiation session last Saturday who said he lacked at 40 to resolve the dispute. Finnborg said the university representative Peter Small told union officials he didn't have full authority to negotiate, especially if one of the critical issues of a grievance procedure with final and binding arbitration. We don't think the university has showed a good faith, Finnborg said. Finnborg said about 200 members of the Albany County Bill the Trade Council attended the stage meeting. He said the vote was seriously to continue work stoppage and announce the name day. Ain't that day. All right, on the weather here. Right now, combination that. 6 p.m. reports, 78 in San Francisco, 81 in Oakland, 80 out in San Jose, in Palo Alto, 96 in San Jose, 73 in Santa Maria, 67 in Santa Barbara, 69 in Los Angeles, 67 in San Diego, 102 in Bakersfield, 104 in Fresno, 102 in Stockton, 101 in Sacramento, 105 in Chico, 85 in Redden, 61 in Eureka, 84 in Reno, and 89 in Las Vegas. There. What about one in the nation today? Cold temperatures are forecast for the nation's northeast quarter with warmer weather is due to the southwest and showers predicted as part of the Midwest. All right, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. It goes like this: for the Bay Area forecast, fair few Wednesday, except low clouds or fog along the coast, with patches extended at the Tuesday morning. They decreased late Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. The little cooler Wednesday, low tonight and Tuesday night. In the upper 40s, mid 50s, high to 60s, due to the course of the upper 70s to upper 80s inland. Westerly winds 10 to 20 miles per hour in the afternoon. For Northern and Central California, fair flat Tuesday, except widely scattered afternoon, evening thunder showers and low clouds. With patchy fog along the coast, little temperature change. Sun will set today at 8 29 p.m. and rest tomorrow at about 5 47 a.m. and set tomorrow evening about 8 30 p.m. Moon sets today 2.08 p.m. Whereas it's about at 2.02 a.m. It sets about 3.18 p.m. And new moon, July 1st quarter moon, June 18th, full moon, June 26th. And that's quarter moon on July 3rd. And, and that is going to be it for the weather here. And let's move it on to the sports here. Tonight, the Oakland A's will be in Cleveland, taking on the Cleveland Indians here. And we'll have the complete action on Iowa's News Nightcast at 11 o'clock. In Santa Rosa, the Oakland Raiders open their final rookie. Dr. Asia kept here today to a double pleasure and surprise. Price pass catch and rookie Mike Sue and Cliff Bratch are aboard suited up for a week or two today. It's Coach John Bannon's first opportunity to see them in action. Sled and all American split head from Vildo over to Oakland's first round picks in the college draft. Pass up two earlier rookie camps while the cushion with it. You know, the way you know, contract them off the bottom. Los Angeles Dodgers. Pitch all big eight wide receiver from Colorado with it. A strong prospect for a perfectly the United States Olympic sprint and relay teams also up to for Oakland football after missing the earlier camp. Both got it late yesterday. Side contracts past physicals in. Can even do the pre camp workout ready for past Panthers for quarterback Daryl LaMonica. Details of the contracts have been announced soon. No one have been negotiated for a multi-year deal said, I'm happy with it, said Brett said about the same. The Commonwealth speaker came here late yesterday directly from Eugene, Oregon, where he competed in the net. See, the late track championship is one of the three who set an NCAA record of 10. <laughs> Fun in the 100 meters of semifinal. <laughs> he finished fifth in the finals with a 10 point win at the same time given award Edmonds of UCLA at three hours. In New York. In an attempt to solidify the league, the American Basketball Association is seeking its new sites for the financially troubled Pittsburgh and Miami franchise and New York Nets president Will Board announced yesterday. Both in the NBA is considered in Chicago, St. Louis, and Anaheim, Connecticut, and Upper New York City as possible new locations for the two teams. Board Ted Machuk ordered the Colorado Cougars have formed a two-bed committee to create an interview with applicants too. Will place NBA Commissioner Chuck Doble announced his resignation last week. We are proceeding on our own. Both said out of way have found some outstanding people who are seeking the job without tonight and have to do is narrow down the field. He said they will present their choices on the ABA Board of Trustees meeting there June 12th and 13th. Regarding this trip down the franchise, both said I am confident that it will not merge with the NBA. However, we until we do, we want to solve our league as much as possible. Meanwhile, in Greenberg Daily News said that the ABA would cease to exist after the NBA meetings on June 15th and 16th. Signing in under five, towards the Daily News said Munchak had been meeting with NBA Commissioner Walter Kennedy and they have reached an agreement to allow six or seven NBA clubs to join the NBA. And Munchak cut the line and said he had no comment.
I break through every important and four minute rifle and they hope while reach the Oak Street sweeps. They want to become the four minute mothers of merit. The Oak Street sleep all of Oakland's all women crew, strong willed and strong armed mothers and grandmothers on 3750 who will vote in the National Women's Real and Association Championship in Seattle on June 16th to 18th. The crew practice at Lake Merrill where the delight of their veteran coach Ed Litt. They went at schoolgirl crew ragged a couple of days ago to post a 415 time over the 1000 meter course. That's sunny as well, but Lakers is letting up a lake he wants them to down to a four minutes that is two weeks in the time for the Nationals. The boatload of housewives recently designated by Rivers West by Hallmark Cards Me have started this thing on Why Don't We and I Dare You Basic Fight Theory. Given proof of their nurse. If you don't care what they read, they don't need you. They got 43 children and 5 grandchildren plus husbands. Son in laws and where I finally stuff the gals to do. The top member of the bench is Loyal Zabmer, wife of a Panama Mount Wes. The number one or and has 12 kids, she's 50. Ed Stroke is Jean Parman, 46 and mother of 10, and wife of San Francisco. Engineer number two is a shield is Jack Kyokon 46 who see. The string is a Cal Varsity Bolt. <laughs> of the Oakland all gal shell are Agnes. Overson, the 51, the oldest member of the crew, and John Bradbury, 20, Alex Allen, 43, Kay Rellin, a kid of 37, and Betty Major, 46, and Penny McLean, 41, York Cox Wayne. Ray Lenny, the third, unbeaten lightweight from the Redwood City, makes his fifth show of the year at San Carlos. Circle Star Theater tonight when he meets Miguel Leal of Mexico in 10 rounder. Lenny comes in a fight off an impressive decision victory over Ray Echeverria. Leal brings up 14 2 3 credentials. Editor for Rado Oakland's Neil Nissen faces Ritter Cruz of Fresno and Weltweight Scrap. There's our will be a heavyweight amateur bout between Morris and Ryder Palo Alto and Rocky Stagler of San Francisco and San Bruno. In Mount Kisco, New York, former middleweight fighter Joy Archer 34 was arrested early yesterday by police when he said he would never man. Were surprised in an apartment house laundry room with burglary tools. Archer and Finley Lupo 33 arrested after an auto chase by Bedford Town Police. Archer has a fought since 1960 when he lost to Emil Griffin winning the second straight and successful bid for the middleweight championship. In 1970, Archer and an accused of contempt for refusal to answer questions before a grand jury. Probably the fifth ring, Archer and is held on $25 bail on charges of second degree burglary possession of burglary tools. In Vancouver, British Columbia, as many as 31 horses were perished. Last night, when fire swept through three horse barns and disabled couple at Expedition Box race track in the city's east end, a member of the Society of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals may be committed 21 horses dead at the scene. <laughs> About 15 has made 1,000 horses in the stable couple of cup of bars and 19 horses and 19 barns flooded into Toronto Street. Police had fire department and spoke to the scene with a set of great figures and Accurate information and available concerning injuries to animals and adversity in itself. Estimates the number of horses injured range from 2 to 25. No deaths or injuries were reported among stable personnel at uh, a recall to place which broke out shortly before 10 p.m. Place where it closed off all traffic in the immediate area, declaring freeway traffic and sustained tight security to enter into the Pacific National Expedition grounds to stop spectators from crowding into the area. Stockholm. Paul Walter Kudel S. S. Gun Sweden, who helped re capture a world record of 18 feet 2 inches in a leap, been to a four and a half along with Bob Seagrin and El Paso de May, sent yesterday to the schedule to his proposed Yancey Stu, which would have included competition to the Los Angeles on June 9th in San Francisco, June 14th. National Hockey League players who have signed with a new World Hockey Association are not expected to be protected by the old NHL clubs in the draft tomorrow in Montreal, and teams are expected to choose their draft choices carefully. Also, any player left unprotected can be picked up by another NHL team and signed and should be decided to return from the WHA. That's a very well possible since the WHA does not have an option clause in its contracts. William May was admitted to Roosevelt Hospital in New York District after a persistent swollen on his second finger in his right hand. May has been new vitality after being traded from the Giants to New York Mets early this year. However, he hurt the finger May 25th, son in the base against the Cincinnati Chicago Cubs. Met physician Dr. Peter Lombardo will make a series of the tests in the finger. Laverne College with hefty 329 batting team average is a favorite in a IA baseball championship which begins today in Phoenix. 
Meanwhile, that Anthony Blake College World Series won't get underway to no more Nebraska until Friday night when defending champion Seven Cal takes on Mississippi and Texas meets Connecticut. In its first game job after replacing 46 year old Joseph Quinn Saturday, the Phillies do. 48 year old general manager Paul Ord said yesterday he did not see any quick cure for what ails the Philadelphia Phillies and expressed approval of Frank Lachesi as a field manager. Dale Bissonnette, 72 year old former first baseman with the old Brooklyn Dodgers, remained in critical condition in the Augusta Main Hospital yesterday after Senator Gunshot wounded the abdomen. Woodford Police Chief Linwood Baker said Bissonnette apparently shot himself up about noon Saturday at Apple Orchard. And that is going to be it for the Channel 5 Virus News on this. June the 5th, 1972, on Monday, I'm Rob Andrews, say very good evening, coming next on Channel 5 will be the CBS Evening News, Walter Clark, I will be back for the Yahweh's News at 7, have a good evening.